In this podcast, we will be discussing on a book called The 5 AM Club by Robin Sharma. The book 5 AM Club demonstrates how adopting a game-changing morning regimen may provide incredible outcomes. It shows how to use the first hour of your day to accelerate personal growth and get the most out of life through the engaging story of an entrepreneur, an artist, and their eccentric millionaire mentor. This book is for those who believe they could make more of the day, people who aspire to reach great heights in life, anyone looking for a good and invigorating morning routine. Chapter 1. What is the benefit to me? And learn how to master your morning routine and improve your life. There was once upon a time a billionaire. He had achieved the pinnacle of success in both his professional and personal lives. He was a man who would leave the world with a legacy. But there was a surprise key to his success. He didn't credit his success to his innate abilities or the hours he put into his work. He credited it to a game-changing morning routine that included rising at 5 a.m. and following a little-known formula that boosted his mental focus, improved his physical condition, and encouraged him to be his best self every day. You too can join the 5 a.m. club with the learnings in this book. You can learn to rise each day and appreciate the peace, silence, and lack of distraction that the early morning can provide. Continue listening to understand how truly peak achievers in all aspects of life get ahead by taking advantage of a time of day when others would rather sleep, watch the news, or surf social media. In these chapters, you will learn 1. Why being distracted helps you produce higher performance. 2. Why transient hypofrontality is so crucial. And 3. How to develop an exceptional performer's routine. Chapter 2. An accidental encounter led a disillusioned entrepreneur and a disgruntled artist to the 5 a.m. club secrets. This is a fictional story about a strange bunch of people, a despondent entrepreneur in need of revitalization, a disillusioned artist attempting to reignite his creativity and establish a legacy, and a billionaire with a long list of accomplishments and a desire to pass on his knowledge of how to live an incredible life. The three met at a personal optimization conference, hosted by a prominent business guru, known for his ability to create magic and captivate audiences with the power of his insights. After the guru's lecture, the billionaire approached the entrepreneur and the artist, but they had no idea he was a billionaire. The billionaire wore a poor man's disguise, a habit he had adopted to remind himself that money isn't everything. His pricey watch was the only indication of his true fortune. The impoverished-looking billionaire told the two that the business guru had taught him that, while many people desire for remarkable things to happen to them, genuinely elite performers learn to make extraordinary things happen for themselves. The entrepreneur and the artist grew increasingly interested in this enigmatic individual who spoke as if he were a guru himself. They listened as the billionaire told how the business guru, who was, in truth, the billionaire's personal mentor, had taught him one lesson above all others. What was it, exactly? Developing a world-beating morning routine is the most reliable method to achieve the best results, both in your personal and professional life. The billionaire, being a generous man, made an astonishing offer. If they came to his beach villa in Mauritius, the billionaire would teach them the secrets of a world-class morning routine. All they had to do was meet at 5 a.m. the next morning. The next morning, the entrepreneur and the artist were doubtful, but that changed when they were picked up by a chauffeur-driven Rolls-Royce and transported to a hangar containing a sleek ivory-colored private plane with the logo SAC. When the entrepreneur inquired about the emblem, the chauffeur revealed that it stood for the 5 a.m. club. And so began their quest to learn about a revolutionary morning routine and a completely new way of life that has the potential to change everything for the better. Chapter 3 You will be able to perform like the elite because of the seclusion and heightened mental state you'll have at 5 a.m. The billionaire told the entrepreneur and artist how he learned to overcome mediocrity and reach greatness by getting up at 5 a.m. the next morning. Getting up at 5 a.m. has increased his productivity, increased his creativity, and doubled his vitality. But how? According to the billionaire, 
many great events throughout history, from author John Grisham to composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, have grasped that the seclusion that comes with waking up at 5 a.m. has a multiplying impact. We all have a finite amount of brain capacity or cognitive bandwidth. And as the day progresses, our focus shifts to more and more things such as work, news, social interaction, and social media. All of these eat up our bandwidth to the point where we can't focus on anything by lunchtime. We give nothing enough attention by continually shifting our emphasis from one thing to another. If you get up at 5 a.m., on the other hand, you have a unique opportunity to focus on one high-value task without being distracted. Transient hypofrontality, which means, in a nutshell, that you are ideally positioned to achieve a state of flow in your thoughts at 5 a.m., enhances this focus. That's because, the brain's prefrontal cortex, which handles rational cognition, briefly shuts down when you get up at 5 a.m. As a result, your ability to analyze, stress, and worry about things is harmed. At the same time, the calm of daybreak boosts the creation of dopamine and serotonin neurotransmitters. The result of this is, you enter a state of flow where you are totally energetic, focused, and in the zone. Flow is the elite state of mind that all top performers, from violinists to scientists, experience at their peak. So getting up around 5 a.m. will allow you to be more focused and productive throughout the day. If you need another incentive to join the 5 a.m. club, consider this. In order to get the outcomes of the top 5% of elite performers, you must do what 95% of entrepreneurs, artists, and other individuals are unwilling to do. Because most individuals are unwilling to get up before 5 a.m., you have a significant competitive advantage. Let's look at how to become a true history maker, someone whose accomplishments influence the world, rather than just achieving amazing things. Chapter 4. History makers make the most of their abilities, stay focused, achieve every day, and master themselves. On a beautiful morning in Mauritius, the entrepreneur, the artist, and the billionaire gathered by the water. A school of squirrelfish lived in the crystal blue waters. In this magnificent setting, the billionaire narrated the four focuses of famous history makers. To begin, he claimed that the greatest people are distinguished, not by their intrinsic talent, but by their ability to exploit it. According to the billionaire, self-discipline and persistence always triumph over aptitude and giftedness. Rather than assuming you lack the requisite skills, focus on your strengths. Second, the millionaire explained that distraction-free time is essential. Today, far too many individuals waste their time on addictive, but pointless technology and social media. If you want to win, you must concentrate, simplify, and focus. That means, becoming a purist and focusing on a few exceptional job ventures rather than a large number of good ones. In everyday life, it means removing everything that diverts your attention away from the most important things. So, switch off your notifications and cancel meetings that divert your attention away from tasks that are truly valuable. Join the 5am club to gain a distraction-free hour each morning to focus on what matters. Finally, the genuinely outstanding recognize the value of day stacking. That means that, modest tasks completed on a daily basis, are far more significant than large tasks completed just sometimes. Consider improving one ability or skill by 1% each day. It's a minor change, but it adds up to a 365% improvement over the course of a year. Finally, the billionaire discussed history's final focus. Personal mastery practice. According to psychologist Anders Ericsson, the first indicators of elite-level expertise occur after 10 years of daily practice. So, if you want to master yourself, spend the first hour of each day focusing on yourself, your mindset, and your approach to health, spirituality, and love. Because the entrepreneur and artist had a better understanding of how the genuinely elite keep ahead. The billionaire stated it was time to take things to the next level. It was time for them to learn how to cultivate their best selves. Chapter 5. You can master yourself and your chosen field by focusing on each of the four inner empires. 
How often have you heard a guru talk about improving your thinking, asked the billionaire? We hear it all the time. Think positive thoughts and your life will improve. What these gurus don't tell you, said the billionaire, is that your mindset is merely one of four, internal empires. You're ignoring your health set, heart set, and soul set, if you're simply concentrating on your mindset. That's the equivalent of only polishing 25% of a painting. Your emotional life and well-being are defined by your heart set. It's crucial, because you can't give intellectually, if your emotional life is a disaster, even if you have a world-class mindset. Sigmund Freud observed, emotions that aren't articulated will never die. They've been buried alive and will resurface in uglier forms later. Focus on a healthy heart set, and you'll see a difference quickly. Next, pay attention to your health set, your physical well-being. Longevity is one of the most important aspects of life. You can't be a titan of industry, if you're dead, as the millionaire playfully pointed out. Committing to optimal fitness allows you to add a few of extra decades of ultra-healthy and productive life to your legacy. Furthermore, professional athletes understand that exercise makes every day better. It boosts your energy, relieves stress, and increases your happiness. But that's not all. There is still another inner empire to build. Your spirituality is your soul set, according to the millionaire. Everyday life frequently draws us to the superficial and material. So, in the stillness of the early morning, remember who you are. Connect with your inner hero. Consider what you have to offer the world in the early morning silence. You'll reconnect with the best part of yourself if you focus on your soul set. The entrepreneur expressed his delight at how this framework had altered his vision of himself, prompting him to wonder how he could put it to use in the first hour of the day. The billionaire responded by saying he was eager to learn more about the 20-20-20 method, but not in Mauritius, but in Rome, the eternal city. It was time to be inspired by the Roman people's passion, the city's architecture, and the wonderful cuisine. Chapter 6. The 20-20-20 formula guarantees that getting up at 5 a.m. produces amazing results. The businessman, entrepreneur, and artist stood in the square, at the bottom of Rome's renowned Spanish steps, taking in their surroundings. It's time to understand how to improve your creativity, performance, utility, wealth, and productivity, according to the billionaire. It's not enough to get up at 5 a.m. You could get up at 5 a.m. and waste an hour scrolling through social media and checking your messages, but that won't help you get the most out of your day. What will work is the 20-20-20 formula, which states that you should spend 20 minutes moving, 20 minutes reflecting, and 20 minutes growing. The first stage is to get moving. 20 minutes of strenuous exercise. What matters most is that you work up a sweat. This is because sweat removes cortisol, the fear hormone. Sweat produces BDNE, or brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a protein that aids in the healing of brain cells and the development of new synaptic connections. So sweating for 20 minutes implies you'll be able to think faster. Then, from 5.20 to 5.40 a.m., set aside some time for thought and isolation. Consider what is most important to you before the day becomes complicated. You'll be surprised what thoughts, dreams, and inspiration come to mind when you have a few moments of stillness to yourself in this age of distraction and frequent updates and communications. Keep a notebook of your thoughts. Write down your present goals, what you're grateful for in your life, and your frustrations and disappointments. This will assist you in comprehending your vision and releasing poisonous, negative energies. Spend a few minutes meditating. Meditation has been shown to reduce stress by lowering cortisol levels. It's a tried and true method of remaining calm, and the world's best performers are always calm. It's now time to complete the final 20 minutes of your first hour. Take 20 minutes to learn because you need to progress here. Read biographies of renowned achievers to learn more about their lives. Learn about the psychology of people. Listen to business building audiobooks or watch documentaries on innovation. Every millionaire has one thing in common, a passion for learning. That's all there is to it. 
a wonderful morning routine for making the hour your own and joining the 5M Club. Chapter 7. To maximize the potential of the 5AM Club, you must embrace sleep and the twin cycle of top performance. The businessman, entrepreneur, and artist journeyed deep into the depths of Rome as it slowly came to life. The billionaire revealed they were in the catacombs, underground corridors, used as burial grounds by the ancient Romans, as they descended a dark and dusty tunnel. The artist inquired as to why they were there, and the billionaire replied that they were surrounded by people sleeping for generations, thus it was an opportune time to discuss the value of deep sleep. Sleep is one of the primary variables in determining life expectancy, according to research. The last hour of your day is almost as crucial as the first, when it comes to optimal performance. Technology has led to the sleep deprivation of far too many people nowadays. According to studies, the blue light emitted by mobile smartphones lowers levels of melatonin, a sleep-inducing hormone. You will not be able to sleep effectively if you are in front of a screen before bedtime, so turn off your gadgets by 8 p.m. Spend the rest of the evening visiting with family and friends, meditating, taking a relaxing bath, or reading before going to bed at 10 p.m. That way, you'll get the most out of your 5 a.m. time. Sleep isn't the only way to recharge your batteries. In reality, oscillating between moments of intense, focused work at the highest levels and periods of deep replenishment through rest, recovery, and fun is a key to long-term top performance. The billionaire refers to it as the twin cycle of top performance. Growth occurs not just during peak performance, but also during recovery. Talk to a farmer if you want to understand why, suggested the billionaire. He'll tell you that there's always a period of severe tilling, crop planting, and hard labor. But then comes the dormant season. The fallow season may appear to be a time of rest. Nothing appears to be happening. But it's the fallow season, when the earth is resting and recovering its nutrients, that actually determines how effectively crops will bloom. Some of us choose to avoid the second half of the twin cycle. The entrepreneur acknowledged this, stating that he feels guilty if he is not working. But, as the millionaire pointed out, balance is crucial. So don't limit yourself to employment. Relax and enjoy yourself, knowing that it is an important aspect of high performance. Chapter 8. The primary message in this book is that heroes are born in the early hours of the day. Start by mastering the mornings, if you want to master your life. In this age of complexity, being free of distractions before 5 a.m. will allow you to develop your creativity, maximize your fitness, and protect your peace. A practical advice. Set your alarm clock for half an hour earlier than usual to mislead yourself into waking up at 5 a.m. To begin, purchase an alarm clock. Technology should never be used in the bedroom since it is distracting. If you have an ancient clock, set it half an hour ahead of time. Set an alarm clock for 5.30 a.m. You'll fool yourself into thinking you're getting up later the next morning when you wake up. When the alarm goes off, get out of bed right away, before your weaker side comes up with excuses to stay under the covers. This is the end of the podcast. We hope you like the narration. Please, like, and, subscribe to our channel. This will help and motivate us to publish more such podcasts. Don't forget to visit our playlist section to browse through your favorite genre. Thanks for listening and have a good day.